this episode, we will be focusing on the VI test in more detail and how we can use the Bone Master to do this. So Oliver, could you help explain what the VI test is? VI, or VI signature analysis, is a test you do between two points and it'll give you the voltage along one axis and current along the other. In System 8 Ultimate, the AMS delivers a special feature called 3D VI, which also puts frequency along that Z axis. We'll be touching upon 3D VI in more detail in the next video. Absolutely, 3D VI is in the next video. That's great. And am I right in saying that the System 8 Ultima software is used alongside the Boardmaster and it controls all the hardware basically? Yes, so uh, so in our System 8 range, we've got System 8, the System 8 hardware, we've got the System 8 software. Come as a package, the System 8 software controls the hardware. All right, that's great. Uh, are you able to do a demonstration for us so we can I see can. how the VI test works? So I've got this PCB here. I'll just bring up 3 dpi and I'll just be measuring this compared to here. Okay, so we're testing a resistor here. That's right, yeah. So I'll start a test using the foot switch mm -hmm. and I'll measure across that component there. Wait till I get a signature, I can have. Start the test. I can then store that in the software. There we go. And then I can start a test again and compare that against another component. So here we go. Stop that. And then we've got two different signatures. Right, I see. So what we can see here is that the software has given us a pass and a fail. What we've got here is because the second resistor doesn't lie in that uh, mask we saw the first time, you'll get this fail. That's because they're two different components. This is handy if you're doing a comparison test because then you can compare that component against the same component on another board. And if they match, well then that's a working component. But if they're different, then you know that the faulty board, that component's broken. So this is mainly a comparison test, like you said, where we can compare a good working board, a golden board, and use the results from that compared against the fault to your suspect board. Yes, so you won't be able to tell what's wrong with the component just looking at the VI signature analysis unless you're really smart. But if you've got uh, the comparison between a working and a faulty one, you'll be able to pick up where the differences are. So it's a very simple but effective test. Absolutely. Um, you just demonstrated a test on a resistor. Can we test other components, ICs? Yes, yeah, so anywhere that you have two exposed uh, contacts, uh, you, need, you need that circuit, unless, uh, um, or else you'll get that open circuit. So here I'll measure between these two diodes. All right. Start, well, I'll clear the mask we've got already. Sure. Start the scan, mm -hmm. and I'll scan across this D1 on our board. And stop that one. There we go. And I can store that. So just to touch upon here, this blue line that we see, this is uh, the mask. Yep, so that's that's our stored signature from that diode. When we get onto test flows, we'll be able to save that as perhaps D1. Right. So and then I can start test again. I can compare that against the other diode, completely different. And then of course we get that file in the top right. right. And as you can see with this component that's completely different to our original stored mask. Yes. And obviously the software has given you a fail. Yes, because this, these are two different components, obviously they're going to be different. But if you're measuring the exact same component, you're going to notice something wrong here. Sure, of course. In next week's episode, we will be taking a look at the 3D VR, which we touched upon earlier on, and how that can be really useful for frequency-dependent components. Keep a lookout for that video. Stay tuned.